Hey guys, Marmalade here. Thanks so much for joining me today for the unboxing of my all new Ultra Temp 3s. Right here, baby. Real quickly, I wanted to go over kind of my uh, experience with Ultra and how I got to this point and why I'm trying these. Uh, I first, I've been backpacking for about five years. Uh, if you follow me or are new to me, I attempted a, a through hike of the PCT, the Pacific Crest Trail in 2019. And from day one, I pretty much have always used Ultra. I had the uh, Lone Peak 3.5s and just absolutely loved them. Just the, one of the best shoes I've ever worn. When I was through hiking, probably seven out of 10 people had them. I mean, they're just a great shoe. And that was the 3.5 uh, Lone Peaks. They went to the fours and now the 4.5s and fives. And they got rid of the cushy stack height and changed the shoe completely. And in my opinion, ruined it and a lot in other people's opinion too. So um, then I went to the Temps, but I went to the 1.5s. This is about two years ago and just absolutely loved it and thought I had found my shoe. Well, they changed that to the twos, which is what I have right here, which is what I'm trying to hike in right now. But uh, they have their own problems and they changed the temp enough to where it's um, not the same shoe anymore. To me, one of the negatives to the twos is that they seem to have reduced the size of the heel cup. And uh, most uh, long distance hikers want a wide forefoot and that was in the temp 1.5, but in the two, it's narrower. So it feels very tight up here and uh, narrow here. And uh, I've conditioned my feet. I literally almost never get blisters anymore ever but this shoe gives me blisters on the heel so i have to put a big piece of duct tape on my heel before i put my socks on that's the only way i can wear these but they're comfortable once i get them on they're very comfortable but they're they're tight and pinched uh, in the forefoot so uh, we'll go over the new shoes and how they've changed it we'll actually go over um some of the things that they kept and all some of the new things that are in the new version in the three over this two so let's go over those right now some of you follow me know i've been wearing the topo ultra venture uh, trail runners lately I had a pair, I wore them all the way out. I used them, uh, I'm trying to think, uh, 300 miles of the PCT in Oregon and uh, the Trans Catalina Trail and a bunch of other stuff and I wore them out. And actually I wanted to get another pair, but I had uh, received a $100 credit uh, from REI from my, um, from my spending last year. So I wanted to use it towards a pair of shoes. I have enough ultralight equipment. I need. I have all the gear I need, but I thought, well, why not use that credit towards a new pair of shoes? So I went on there to get the Topos and I couldn't get them in any size, let alone my size. So they just they weren't offering them. I don't know if they're just behind in um, at the, at Topo with themselves and getting the shoes to REI. So I thought, you know, I started reading about um, how they've kind of fixed. I'm not, I'm not entirely happy with these. Um, I'm gonna wear them out and use them, but you know, with having to put uh, duct tape on my heels and it's kind of snug, like I said, in the forefoot, it's not, it's comfortable, but not great. So, and with not being able to get a Topo, I was kind of thinking, well, what do I do? And I read up a little bit on the new 10.3s, which I'll go over, and it seems like they've fixed, uh, I haven't worn them yet, but they've seems like they've fixed some of their issues. So uh, without further ado, let's go over the shoe. All right, drum roll please. Here we go, baby. Here's the new 10.3s. Yeah. Oh yeah. some of the things that uh, they carried on from the old models uh, for one they have the the d-ring in the front this is what you put your gaiters uh, you hook on your gaiters on the front too I don't know if you can see that or not but um, and then it has of course the velcro in the back for the gaiters so that's still the same and that velcro is strong but yeah so it's got that still um, it's got zero drop so it's still got the zero drop uh, from the heel to the toe the same height and you can see uh, the overall look is still the same I got them in black and gray. I just thought it'd be nice to have it all blacked out like that. Uh, Ultra considers this their Max Kush trail shoe that they that they carry. One more thing, it has the uh, same Max Track sole, which is uh, gives you the proper amount of grip. Uh, you don't want too much aggressiveness or not uh, too little. So this is the same uh, Max Track sole they used in the last uh, model. All right, let's go over some of the new things that have been included in this uh, new version of the shoe. Um, the midsole is something new called Quantic. It's a certain kind of rubber material. And um, what it does is it gives you the max cushion and max comfort that uh, has been known for this shoe, the comfort you want, but it has some responsiveness, which is bounce or spring. So uh, some shoes, other brands have so much cush that it's super cushy, but it's almost like uh, it just absorbs and um, you don't have a spring back. So you want a fine line between comfort 
And then when you're stepping and you're like putting your foot down and you're coming off of it, you want some spring too. So this has got the, the a really great mix of spring and, and max cushion. It's interesting, Ultra says that this is a great overall shoe. If you had to buy one shoe for the coverage, everything from just walking to trail running to backpacking, which is what I use, or even if you're gonna go on a trip. And uh, like I, when I went on the long trail in Vermont, uh, I didn't have extra stuff. I literally wore my, my sandals, my flip-flops, but I also wore uh, my hiking shoes for part of the trip too at the airport. And they're saying this is a great shoe. If you had to go traveling, whether another country or out of the state, whatever, wherever you live, uh, this is a great shoe that covers everything from walking, whether it's at the airport on a trail so it's a great overall shoe it's super light and uh we'll wait here in a minute and i'll show you the the, the weight of this thing but uh yeah great they, they consider it their best overall shoe that can do more things with one shoe all right one of my main reasons why i purchased this and what i'm excited about in trying these is it's got a much wider uh, more forgiving more uh, stretchy material for the toe box which is kind of what they had in the 1.5 which is why it was so comfortable and they kind of went away from it in the twos uh, that's why uh, it's one the thing I besides the tight heel cup I get blisters from the the narrower uh, toe box is my main gripe with that it's starting to stretch out and give a little bit so it's getting a little more comfortable um, but I don't even have a, a wide foot I have a normal medium foot and it's really tight on me so um, I'm really excited about that and obviously when you're doing big miles and doing 20 mile days you, you need the shoe to fit properly and be comfortable so your feet aren't killing you by the end of every day what I think is one of the coolest additions to the shoe is and I'm going to show you a close-up of it because it's too hard to show you from this distance. But there is an elastic strap over the top of uh, your laces. And after you tie your laces, and you'll see the picture right here, you can tuck it in that elastic. Especially, uh, I wear gaiters so it covers everything. So that helps not only not get rocks and dust in my shoes, but um, it also covers my laces so they don't snag. Because you do go through a lot of brush and sticks and you can untie your shoes constantly or get snagged on things. But my gaiters cover that. For, for those of you who don't wear gaiters, um, this is a great little addition, and I, I think it kind of spurs from running shoes. You can you tie your shoe, and they tend to have long laces, and then just tuck them in underneath like that. All right, let's weigh them and see. Let's do a little weight comparison. Uh, here's the Temp 2s, my current uh, version I'm hiking with right now. This is a size 13. They're both 13, so it'll be a good comparison. 11.6 ounces, size 13. That's the Temp 2, and then we get the new Temp 3s. 11.4 so lighter how about that 11.4 ounces that's not too bad for a, a large shoe like mine wow how about that it's actually lighter it's funny because in the research uh, on their site they said the temp threes would be slightly heavier in the same size than the twos and in this case it was not so i'm pleasantly uh, pleased and surprised about that you know the weight does matter that's part of the reason why we wear these is they breathe well they dry out well if you walk through water uh super light and um I'm just glad that you know they're able to make these kind of improvements and not get heavier with the shoe. Well, this is just a quick uh, review just to go over this new shoe in case you're looking at getting new shoes and you're not happy with what you have or you've had the older temps and you're thinking about getting the new ones. I hope this helped you make your decision either way. Uh, I just wanted to kind of show you what I got. Of course, I haven't put any miles on them yet. I haven't even put them on my feet yet, but I definitely would do another video once I get some miles on them. And uh, I just hope it helped. And uh, please consider subscribing and liking and leave some comments below. Until next time, see you down the trail.